you know. Uh, this is the bread. second part of the vlog. Go watch the first one. Look in the description. Like crisscross, <laughs> got the gold chain and a wristwatch. Ooh. Pull up on the scene like a big shot. EDM and hip hop, ain't no time for piss stops. Ooh. Got the party jumping like crisscross. Got the gold chain and the wristwatch. Ooh. Pull up on the scene like a big shot. EDM. And in general, I'd say Myofen is a great area to ski in. It's got a lot of uh, different slopes from uh, beginners to extremes and even parkour places. You can see Azuni now is going down the sharpest slope in the in the Zilatao area. It was really crazy. You don't see it on camera, but it's really, really, really sharp. At the end there he slipped up and he's mad at himself, but it's fine. It was the beginning and from there we only got better. We've made it stop here. It's a restaurant. Look at the view. Looks amazing. Nice atmosphere, some beers. Looking good. And that's the, the ski lift and the ski run. So there. The second time and the third time were way better and you can see Arzuni going down like a champ. The weather was great, you could even see him without a jacket on because it was really really hot. The sun was melting us in the snow. As you can see the downstairs they had to clump up the snow. Change teams, who the hottest in the city, we the top two. You said your music was litty, but that is not true. Just being honest, you should really just stop fool. Matter of fact, empty no pockets, give me that watch too. My mind is wicked, that's why I spit it so- And of course there were some bad falls. As he kept pushing himself, and uh, I also Ooh. had some major falls. That's but gonna hurt. At the end, it's all part of the fun. The only advice I can give you is get some good gear to protect your knees and your hands and your butt if you get if you can. Oh, we're at the train station. We finished the day in uh, Zilla Arena. Now we're waiting for a train to Myofen. It's like I live in a brothel. All I spit is Leviticus, but I'm not an apostle. My nuts hang low, long and they're colossal. Black I didn't mention it before, but once you get the ski pass, the one we bought at the beginning of the trip for 315 euros, you get a free pass to all transit in the area. Buses, trains, trams, anything you now want. Now we're taking the bus to Gas. Gas, our lord and savior, the best place in town. So this is uh, eight. This was 10.90 and this was 8.90 together. It was uh, 19. Bon appetit. There is not enough milk. But it's okay. <laughs> so there is apple strudel without eggs. Finally, we we search in all my friend, and this is the one uh, restaurant that they have. Uh, it's this place. Dessert uh, without without eggs. No. And the coffee. How much it cost? Three three euros. So eight in total. Yeah. Pretty good. Start the day on the D line. We're going to Horberg, and then uh, through the ski lifts themselves back to the pumpkin. So we don't have a bus straight to Dang low, long and colossal Black trader, black sheep, messiah to the misfits Run circles, run these rappers to my shit splits You a little late to the party, baby, I been lit If you ain't on a friend list, you better mind your business This is the bridge we're going through And yeah, we're going up to that ski lift over there We made a uh, midday break Because that was when his foot uh, hurt Who changes the uh, sh shoes now we're going to start to get some beers. Maybe it'll help with alcohol with the uh, pain. Arzuni, the pain will go away. We're gonna get some beers. Midday break. This was all together 5.40. Uh, we got uh, four diff three different beers. We're gonna taste them and we're gonna make a lunch break. Got the party jumping like crisscross. Got the gold chain and the wristwatch. Pull up on the scene like a big shot. EDM and hip hop. Ain't no time for piss stop. Got the party jumping like crisscross. Got the gold chain. This was the ski park area, as you can see there are a couple of guys before Azuni, there's a couple of pros, if you like doing jumps and stunts and stuff, you should really go there.
After I was done, now we saw Zuni's turn. He's gonna jump all of this. Catching some speed. So we bought some snacks and some beers together. That was nine euros. Uh, on the line deep on the way back. It was a perfect day. The snow was great. Uh, it's the last day. We're waiting. For it's over there. Line D. Me and our Zoom split and I went to another part of the park. I'm going up from the lift and I'm going all the way up there. Your sugar coated doll is not so pure, my bad. I don't give up. You stepping on me in the common. This is the mountain. We're gonna go out. Beautiful. Get off the ski lift, you go through here, get to this place over the red wire, and you come down here, and the platform is over there. Stop at this uh, viewing point. This is the view from here, absolutely amazing. I really, really recommend you come here. I don't remember what's the name of uh, that place over there, but my oven is downstairs, and the pumpkin, the main area, area is over there, so not there, go left to the this mount mountain. View is absolutely amazing look at it seriously it looks like a like a picture not, not real amazing so i'm gonna sit here and just enjoy the view for a couple of minutes now i'm going down and we're downstairs so if you're wondering this is how it was built first they build the station then you can see the helicopter taking up the wire and then they start building the uh, the posts on each end that hold up the whole thing and then the stations at the at the end you have a cool visual here you can see the spools of the wire that are huge look at the truck this is the the wire that holds up the whole thing and then they put on the the gondolas themselves and Finally, they were done. Amazing. This is a hell of a feat of engineering. Really, really impressive. This is the different gauges of wires and what they're made of. We stop for a coffee break and sandwiches. This was three and a half euros. So we're all done. And don't forget when you finish, return your ski pass. It's two euros per uh, ski pass. Okay, now we're returning the snowboard and the shoes. That's the end. We just finished with all the ski stuff. They they were awful. Don't come here. It's really expensive and the customer support is not really good. They wanted to charge us for the uh, snowboard. Um, so fuck them. Don't come here. So I ordered apple strudel. This is the cafe latte and Arzuni's pancakes are on the way. This is Arzuni's pancakes. Oh my god. This is the Austrian pancake. It's uh, called the Eiserspeinzen. <laughs> all together it was 20 euros. This is the place, recommended. Five Napa team out of five Napa team, really good. So we packed all our stuff. My Fin, we're done. It was great. We were great. Going uh, to the bus. So now we're here on the train from uh, My Fin to Janbach. It's uh, 9.40 each, so 18.80 uh, for the both of us. So we're on a train on our way to Janbach. Our stuff. We at uh, Janbach, now we're switching trains to Munich. So we got uh, onto the train to Munich. Uh, actually a really cool train. The train itself was 10 euros per person, so 20 in total. We arrived to Munich uh, main uh, station. Now we need to go to the airport. So we're going to the information desk to see which uh, train we need. So this is our train. We're waiting for it at uh, Terminal 5. It's raining and it's cold. The train from Munich to the airport was another 15 euros each, so it's 30 euros. That was normal speed, not sped up. So we're on the train, so off to the airport. We've arrived at uh, the airport and me and Arzuni are looking at this huge structure. It's like a huge dome, looks surreal. Now we're gonna go to get a night's sleep. So we're gonna call it a night. Arzuni's on the floor, I'm over here. We have like... 12 hours till the flight goes. Uh, we're done. Guten Morgen. Mm, yeah. So, we're up. 
it's 7 30. I'm gonna get some coffee to the big M to go buy some coffee. We got a cappuccino. It was 4.30. Yeah, how do you rate the so, McCafe? The McCafe uh, is uh, one bomb, not uh, more. Um, it's big, um, but it's not taste good. Um, they bring us the coffee like this in the first time, and we need to ask uh, to fill the to cup. Fill, fill the coffee. Uh, but we got the sandwiches with Nutella, so it will save the day. And Arzun has got uh, the leftovers. Silla straka. Uge Struchen. And uh, we're gonna eat it. So this is our terminal because we're uh, on a special flight to Israel and we got security. They put us here at Terminal F. This is the whole thing. We're gonna have to sit in this room for three hours. God fucking damn it. I thought we we're gonna go to the duty free and uh, go around. It's a fucking joke. Transferred us to another uh, terminal. We're waiting to go up. Going here. Waiting for the gate to open. I was only standing. I'm sitting. Mother, so, what, what I have to ask? Uh, Child for the phone. It's a big game. Uh, uh, five bombs. Bombs. Five bombs for five. Just before the boarding, the guy at the check-in took my suitcase. Uh, I thought it would be uh, fine, but he took it uh, free of charge. So, Lufthansa. Five napats in another five. Five bones for five bones. I'm not gonna spend the night. I'm talking. You got bad things on your mind. Keep barking. Spit your words on someone else. Don't act like you're so obsessed with me. With me. You know that I ain't coming back. I'm sad. Five for five bones. Like last time, beer and some coffee. Lufthansa, you did it again. Lufthansa, the gift, the gift, the gifts I'm giving. Sandwiches. Three, three from five. I wanted to shout out again Lufthansa Airlines, they were the best. Seriously, I've never been on an air flight that they serve beers and coffee and everything is free of charge. They even took my bag uh, that was uh, overdue with the weight and they took it free of charge. If you ever get the chance, fly Lufthansa. Just landed, now we're going out. That's it, we're going out. We're going to the gate. This is where we were at the beginning of the flight, downstairs. That's it, we're going. Now we're waiting on our bags. That's it. So to sum everything up, flight on town was 1,655 euros. Foods and drinks were 200.9 euros. Ski stuff was 935. Transportation was 146.6 euros. So in total, that's 2,048.5 euros or 3,125.5 dollars. And per person, it's 1,074 euros or 1,562 euros. So expensive. Uh, Keep that in mind if you want to go to Myofen. I want to share a couple of uh, tricks that we saved us a lot of cash on hand when we were there. So first of all, get a hotel with uh, breakfast so you can make yourself some sandwiches for the lunch. Uh, most of the time we didn't eat lunch, we only eat uh, at dinner. So that's only one meal per day you need to pay for. If you want to get knackered at the evenings, get your beers at the supermarket and not at bars because it's expensive there. For us, it was worth it to take a hotel that's a bit farther away from the main area, but if you want, you can uh, pay the extra fee. Last but not least, try to stitch everything together. Don't buy a ski deal, because when you do that, you're locked into the things they want you to get. And uh, sometimes they're the uh, good prices, but most of the time they're more expensive than stuff you can. So, five bombs, five bombs, uh, the trip to Austria. That's oh. it, we're going out, and the customs. Have a great day. Don't remember to like and subscribe.